hi there um i'm just gonna jump right into it because a long video is not my thing and i'm pretty sure it's not your thing also so i feel so led to share my testimony and this have been on my heart and on my mind for about more than two weeks now so today is the day <laughs> so um my testimony is gonna be how i become how um I become born again and the situation I was in in that time I was in a very very dark place a very 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 dark place I feel like all hope has lost I feel like so many doors has shut um, so I when I came I came to Canada um, when I came to Canada I came to Canada on a work permit and uh, came to Canada, work at McDonald's. McDonald's was my very first job. Work at McDonald's for about a year and apply for my permanent residence. Put my permanent resident application in. That was in going, going, going. Applied. My work permit was coming up to um, expired. And um, so I submit for to apply for a new work permit and I got denied boom lo and behold um they refuse me and they says you have 90 days to leave the country at that time my permanent resident have been in for a while now and i haven't gotten any response from them i don't know what's going on only thing i got is they have received the application but nothing else not it has been approved or anything so they told me you have 90 days to leave the country you can just imagine like getting a letter like that <laughs> i was so down depressed shock confused don't know what to do a lot of things but you know what there was a guy at my workplace <laughs> oh my goodness god is so good there was a guy at my workplace that um he got a letter like that also they told him he has 90 days to leave the country um contact my lawyer at that time and they don't know what to do also they were like you know what it's better <laughs> oh my god it's better for you to leave the country and then once your application has been approved um then we can use that letter to submit for a work permit that's what they told me so i was like okay during that time, waiting, waiting, they were like 90 days, so I wasn't in any rush to just leave right away. So I was waiting it out. <laughs> so in that time, in that time, I found the Lord. <laughs> in that time, there was this lady that um it was like a like a family friend, and she invited us, me and my sister at the time. To church she invited us to church we went to church I will not get down into details because if I do this video is gonna be so long but um, she invited us to church we have been going to church and not only that not only just inviting us to church she um, started going through the Bible with us reading the Bible with us we started reading the Bible she got us um, Bible and you know she really started mentoring us and so she really started mentoring us. So I started praying. I started praying. I surrender to the Lord. I repent and I fully like turn away from the things that I was doing. I used to go to club. I used to party. I wasn't drinking, you know, like too much, but you know, you know, like Bailey's, I would drink that. And you know, there are certain things that, um, you know, certain worldly things that I was doing that I turn away from and I repent and I completely surrender. And, um, so after, you know, all of that, I started praying more. I started seeking God more. I started worshiping more. I started reading my Bible to get to know him, get to know this God. And um, lo and behold, I heard that the guy that I used to work with, he went back home. Very, very sad. He went back home and um, 
I got an email. <laughs> I got an email that my application have been approved. Sorry, you can just imagine <laughs> how happy I was. And I used that letter to apply for a work permit. So I didn't have to go home. I didn't have to go home or anything. Sorry, my kids are outside, so I have to be <laughs> listening out for them. So um, anyways, lo and behold, I didn't have to go home or anything. My application have been um, approved. So I use that um, approved um, P, um, applicate that approved letter, sorry, to apply for my work permit. And the work permit took, I think it took about two or three weeks and I got a work permit. And not only do I got a work permit, I got an open work permit. The first work permit that I have was closed. So I just had to stick with working um, with McDonald, with that company, only that company. And they weren't treating you too well either. So another story. <laughs> So, um, um, so I got an open work permit and I can, you know, work other places. And I just want to share this. I don't know who it is. I feel so led for, for a while now to share it have been on my heart, like so heavy on my mind, on my heart to share this. And I don't know who this message is for, but if this message is for you, I just want you to know that, you know what? God is alive and he's. He wants to help us, but we have to allow him in. The Bible said he stands at the door knocking, right? So are we going to open that door? We're just going to keep it shut. And um, a lot from there, things went downhill. Like so many things, so many things started happening for me. So many doors that, that, that have been shut that I, you know, I, that I thought that couldn't open up back. I thought like, everything like i'm done i'm finished that's what i thought but being born again it's like it gives me hope <laughs> oh my goodness it gives me hope it gives me hope and you know like matthew 21 verse 21 it says um if you have faith and do not doubt <laughs> if you have faith and i have faith i put my trust and my hope in him so i just one i don't know who it is God love you. And there's so many things going on. There's so many things happening in this world that we all are confused, shock. Some of us have never seen this before. I've never passed through this. And there's so many distractions. There's so many things out there. But I just want to let you know that today that God loves you. Just open up your heart, surrender, and and. He, he's there. He want to help us. He wants to help us. But are we going to allow him? So I really hope this helps um, someone. Sorry, <laughs> my gum, my mouth. I really hope that this um, helps someone, church someone, even if it's one person. Even if it's one person. Oh my goodness. Even if it's one person, that's awesome. Because the Bible said he leaves the 99 and go after the one. That's how important you are. Just so you know. You are very, 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 very important. He loves you. He loves you very, very much. Very much. So, I don't want to keep making this video long. Um, comment down below. And um, share your testimony with me. I would love to hear. Um, I have so many, 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 many more, many, many more, many more, but God have been so good to me. So, so good. And I love him dearly with all my heart. And I'm just here to tell you, just surrender, surrender your life onto him. And he's there for you. He will help you through anything you're going through in the most difficult situation, tough times. <laughs> I'm telling you. He will help you. Just trust and believe. Have no doubt. Have no, no, no doubt. Have a blessed day. A blessed week. Jesus love you. Have a great day. Bye.